ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಗುರು ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಮೂನ್ ಡೇ ದಿಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಮೂನ್ ಡೇ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಷಾಢ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಯನ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಫುಲ್ ಮೂನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿಷಿಯಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಗುರು ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೇ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಗುರು we all know that guru in sanskrit means he who leads us from darkness to light from ignorance to knowledge in a broad sense every person animal or aspect of nature which aids us in gaining knowledge may be considered a teacher to us time and experience are our greatest teachers but guru purnima is a day which honors a particular type of teacher the word guru is specifically employed to denote only one type of teacher sanskritam has many terms to denote many teachers adhyapaka imparts information upadhyaya imparts knowledge along with information acharya imparts skills and application of knowledge pandita can give deep insights into the subject all of them just teach you the knowledge of the world there is only one teacher who can lead you to knowledge which transcends the world The word guru is reserved for such a person who can lead us to true knowledge of the self that is true enlightenment. A guru is therefore firstly a self enlightened being because only he who has experienced it can lead others towards it. And secondly not all enlightened persons may be able to share the path of self realization with others and be a teacher or a guide of the path. So a true guru is one self realized and two a guide or a teacher bharat desha is called punya bhumi the blessed land because we have not one or two gurus but many gurus in every generation we honor all of them on this day but foremost of them all is guru veda vyasa this purnima is a celebration of this great guru Buddhists, Jains and Sikhs also revere this Purnima day to honor their gurus. But even these gurus have been brought up on the teachings of the Vedas and it is thanks only to Bhagavan Veda Vyasa that the teachings of the Vedas have remained in our midst for millennia. Vyasa means compile, split, describe or expand. So Vyasa is a title given to the one who compiled and separated the immense compendium of knowledge called Vedas into smaller divisions Rig, Yajus, Sama and later on Atharva as well. Veda Vyasa is not the author of the Vedas authored by various rishis and rishikas over a long period of time Vedas are not attributed to even them. Veda means knowledge that which came into the consciousness of the rishis and rishikas when in deep meditative states therefore they do not claim ownership vedas are said to be shruti heard or divine knowledge but this immense compendium of knowledge can be too much for one person to learn and know vishnu purana tells us that in the first two yugas krita and treta yuga this is not an issue but with the onset of dwapara yuga vedas become tedious for the pursuit of humans at this juncture vishnu purana talks of the birth of a vyasa vishnu purana says shri vishnu incarnates in every dwapara yuga of each cycle in order to split and compile the vedas for this reason he will be called vyasa the compiler thus according to vishnu purana Vyasa is considered an avatar of Shri Vishnu. Vishnu Sahasranama says Vyasaya Vishnu Rupaya Vyasa Rupaya Vishnave. Vishnu Purana also states that there have already been 28 cycles of yugas in our current time period of Vaivasvata Manu. And one Vyasa has been born to compile the Vedas during each of these 28 cycles. This present day Vyasa belongs to the 29th cycle of Yugas. The next Vyasa is slotted to be Ashwatthama, the immortal son of Dronacharya. In the Puranas we see 
that not just the past but also the future is retold as a matter of fact our veda vyasa is the 29th vyasa he was born as the son of rishi parashara and the fisher woman satyavati he is often referred to as parashara or satyavati suta indicating that he is the son of parashara and satyavati since he was born in an island on the river yamuna he was named krishna dwaipayana dark island dark denotes both the color of river yamuna and the skin tone of the boy he was initiated into the knowledge of the self by brahma the kumaras and by rishi narada self enlightened at a young age krishna dwaipayana started his life work he compiled over 100000 verses of the vedas into four sections rik yajur sama and atharva after compiling the vedas he bestowed each one upon a disciple so that they may ensure its preservation and continuation paila was made the custodian of rigveda jaimini of the sama veda vaishampayana of the yajur veda and sumantu of atharva veda they in turn taught their disciples and so on till date the vedas are inviolate and they have preserved their original form after millennia of oral transmission this is no mean task it is thanks to the guru shishya lineage and tutoring instituted thousands of years back all the knowledge of the vedas we have today we owe to veda vyasa he is also the composer of the brahma sutras which expand and explain the vedas for easier understanding He also composed the 18 Mahapuranas of over 400,000 verses. Next came the 100,000 verse poetic composition of Jaya or Mahabharata which chronicles generations of the Kuru dynasty. While it serves as a historical account, it is also a text which explains the essence of the Vedas through moral dilemmas and human nature featured in the stories of the kings. Most importantly, It also features the Bhagavad Gita, the discourse on human behavior, goal of human existence and the way to achieve liberation delivered by Shri Krishna to Arjuna on the battlefield. Each of these are immense texts which seem difficult for any one person to accomplish in one lifetime. But Krishna Dwaipayana Vyasa is an immortal text. He is said to have lived through many periods. He is said to be alive to this date, living in his hermitage, Badrikashrama in Upper Himalayas, modern-day Uttarakhand. Famous saints like Shankaracharya and Madhavacharya have met and discussed the Brahma Sutras with him in this millennia, only a few hundred years back. In Bharata Varsha, we hear of many such immortals. To us, they are the truth. they lead us to liberation this day of guru purnima we worship bhagavan veda vyasa and all other gurus who have continued the vedic tradition through dvaita vishishta dvaita or advaita philosophies they truly inspire us to follow the path of dharma let us dedicate this one day to honoring them om shri guru bhyo namah do subscribe like and share with like minded friends thank you for watching hari hi om